Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a game and a show match between Yo Am Sui versus Gamania's Sase here on Ohana. Yes, I did say Gamania or Gamma Bear's Sase spawning as the Red Protoss player on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Yo I Am Hui spawning as the blue Protoss player on the top left hand side of the map. If you guys have not been following um, the TESL, um, I try to follow as much as I can even though I cannot read or speak Mandarin very well. Gamma Bears was actually able to hire Sase as a mercenary for some of their games. So for a very, very short time, two of my favorite players to watch and um, to watch and two of the players that I know best, uh, Sase and Sen are on the same team. Now, looking at Sase's build so far, pretty much going to be a very, very standard build. He is chrono boosting out both sides, doing very similar things so far. And... I do believe that Sase does have a little bit more ra name recognition in this particular match and also a former teammate so I am going to be focusing on a little bit of him as we see Sase is not actually doing any serious scouting. Nope, he is going to be doing that scouting now and will be making his way off to the north. Coming back around, let's take a look at what um, Yo I Am Hui is doing, the blue Protoss player. He should be warping in that assimilator in just a moment unless the, the metagame has changed from uh, Gateway Assimilator to Gateway Nexus. All right, we see the Assimilator has come down. And both of these players are just trying to set up their early game. Now, strategy-wise strategy and composition, we do see that there is going to be a pylon here. And Sase has actually opted to not do any additional scouting. You can see currently he only has two harvesters on this assimilator and this was something that I actually talked to Sase about um, when he was still part of Quantic. Why he only has two or two probes on gas. The reason being is that he doesn't want any diminishing returns. He only wants to put three probes on gas once there's actually two probes on each of these mineral patches. So what we'll most likely see is double gas. Um, actually, he's already transferred to three since he, I believe he has two on each of these mineral patches. He may transfer some a probe off over here, and it is going to be double, double, as Sase is very, very particular about his timings and his build order. So he is getting up that second gateway, and we'll, we'll see what the follow-up play will be. So both sides pretty much doing very similar builds. You can see that the blue Protoss player also getting up his second gateway as well. And both of them are pretty much playing in the dark. Supply is nearly identical, 25 over to, compared to 24 over 26. Sase perhaps, yeah, not training any additional probes. There we go. Now trying to train up an additional one. I thought for a moment he may actually be foregating. He will not be doing that as the stalker finally moves out to do a bit of scouting. Now, with this scouting, Sase, all he's trying to do is he's trying to see what exactly... I am he is up to. Yo, I am he is up to. You can see that the stalker. Oh, they are going to engage. Who's going to come out on top? Oh, who's going to turn around? It looks as though both sides were engaging those stalker, or what, particle disruptor blasts. Both sides pretty much going, you know what? I don't want to engage with you just quite yet. As I am he is now actually going into Stargate play. Stargate play most likely will be Phoenixes. You can see Sase doing a good job hunting for any possible proxy pylons. Meanwhile, Sase is actually going into a robotics facility alongside a Twilight Council. This is a little bit of a split tech. And if he do if this game does go longer, he should be able to come out ahead. But he may actually end up being caught a little bit behind as we now see Blink being researched. Stalkers have made their way forward. You can see all of these stalkers are just scouring the map. One probe may try to set up a proxy pylon, but one early stalker will get taken down. Sase, will he be able to finish it? Oh, the bad situation. Bad turnaround there. Will he be able to get that one stalker? Yes, he does. Both sides lose a stalker. Sase may actually end up losing two. He does. And wow, two stalkers to one, a, a, a horrible, horrible loss early on. And also Phoenix is being trained to counteract the Immortals. The reason why the Phoenixes counteract the Immortals so well, Immortals are very, very strong when going up against those Stalkers, but Phoenixes will be able to gravita Graviton Beam up that Immortal and pretty much neutralize it. You can see Proxy Pylon now is in the back here. Will it be able to warp up onto the high ground? That is going to be a key, key question. As the Harvester count, what are we sitting at? 28 to 24. 
Sase does have a slightly stronger economy. You can see the warp gate tech is now completed. Blink now nearing completion. And it is really going to come down to Blink Micro more than unit composition if Sase is going to have any chance of victory. So, so far, Phoenixes are off over here. There is a proxy pylon now coming in from Hui. He is looking to perhaps warp in some more stalkers here. He is powered off of four warp gates. The Phoenix is he, I believe he feels that he has enough after this fourth one. As now Zealot Sentry making its way in as well. All right, Sase still training up more probes. Oh, what was that? A very easy takedown there. Now attempting to take down this one particular uh, pylon. The pylon may get taken down pretty easily. No, continuing that chase as the Phoenix is now making make their way in. Oh, a beautiful blink in. And that blink in is actually going to be just enough. Force field, sentries taken down. Stalkers going to get destroyed. And Sase just pursuing Hui all the way off the, across the map. At last, Zealot going to get taken down. Meanwhile... A Phoenix is trying to back away. There are Stalkers now down here on the low ground, easily able to take down this pylon. But Sase pretty much walked across the map. And this is this just goes to show you anyone who's in retreat is behind. Stalkers perhaps going to try to push their way up onto the high ground. Stalkers unable to blink their way forward at all. There is another pylon there now warping in. Stalkers are able to actually shoot at that pylon. But what is going to be happening next? Probe now going to try to make its way up the ramp. There's another force field. Is the stalker going to be able to blink up? This is all very, very important. As we see, Phoenix is battling up against this stalker here. Sase decides to blink in order to get away. Will he actually be able to get away? That is the key, key question. All right. This stalker, or this pylon will get taken down. Meanwhile, an engagement back over here. Stalkers are able to blink up onto the high ground here. Zealots unable to engage. Immortal trying to battle it back. Stalkers, are they actually going to blink away? Yes, there's that peeling back. There's that blink micro. Oh, so important. As all the Zealots have made their way down to the low ground. Phoenix is now going to take down the Immortal. There goes the Immortal. Both sides. About a five supply discrepancy. Sase trying to hold this off. Will it be able to do so? Not enough stalkers on the low ground. As more stalkers now coming in from Sase from behind. Damage is being dealt. Phoenix is starting to run low on energy. Stalker's trying to peel back. Zealots doing a lot of damage. Countering back around once more. And Sase picking apart some of these Zealots. Superior numbers for Sase. As he is now going to try to get back up the ramp. But is currently unable to. Alright. Really, really strong hold. But Sase looks to push up the ramp here in just a second. A sentry still has enough for another force field. And, and that will pretty much be it. No, there should be one more force field here in just a second. Zealot's now getting poked apart there. And now trying to attack down onto the low ground. A beautiful force field. Actually trapping some of the sentries or the, the, the Zealot right there. Alright, oh, there's another push forward once again. Is it going to be able to get away? Not enough damage being dealt. The sentries are not good DPS units. This is not going to be good enough to hold at all. As Sase now, is he going to be able to blink forward? The Observer is here. And there you go. There's the engagement. Stalkers shooting up onto the high ground. All the Phoenixes are currently Graviton beaming. The Stalkers are starting to peel back once again. And it looks like there are simply just going to be too many Stalkers in this Stalker War. No Guardian Shield coming in at all. Perhaps one too many Force Fields. As the Stalkers should just be able to blink forward here if they decide to. Alright, Observer revealing sight up onto the high ground there goes another unit there stalkers are gonna try to engage are they gonna blink forward no i don't believe so there's the blink back there's the peel away but a beautiful hold coming in from the blue protoss so far as the observer is still in position i do not see any sort of detection coming in from the blue protoss player at all to stop this one observer zealots now charging their way in more stalkers still peeling back Shield damage, pretty much all that's being dealt. Sase trying to push his way forward. Will he be able to do so? It looks like another Phoenix will get taken down. Probes are in position. And now what's happening here with these probes? Probes pushing their way forward. And now trying to take down some Sentry. Sentry does get taken down. Here we have it. Both sides battling it out. But a better, better micro engagement. And Sase, even though he is behind right now, is he actually going to be able to hold this? He does have another Nexus up. But the production tab doesn't show any observer or... Uh, it doesn't show any uh, probes being trained. Stalker's still engaging. And oh, what is this chasing down a little bit far? Sase, who has the stronger army so far? Sase is behind 34 to 38. Both sides still trying to fight it out here. And it looks as though 
Yo, I am Hui is actually going to be able, no, unable to defend against this as he is now back up onto the high ground. Alright, this is such an even battle here. The problem is going to be the diminishing returns for I am Hui. You can see that all of those uh, probes are pretty much maxed out here inside the main. Meanwhile, here, this is actually going to be less diminishing returns as the Stalker is now trying to come in for another engagement. There you go. The Phoenix does get taken down, and they are retreating once more. Sase now needs to be very, very careful. Able to blink down onto the low ground. Sase going to lose two quick Stalkers. No, actually able to dodge it once again. Some beautiful dodging coming across, but Sase actually has less Stalkers here. He has to be very careful as it is now currently 5-3. to three. Will those Stalkers be able to chase? No, they will not, as apparently the speed of light is very, very fast, allowing those Stalkers to retreat. Alright, this one pylon. A new group of Stalkers now coming in. There's the Observers. The Observer able to get sight up onto the high ground. I am still surprised that I am Hui has not transitioned into Immortals. Immortals would be great at holding this, as the Stalkers would be try would be forced to focus down the Immortal and actually blink forward in order to do so. Here you go. There you have the Zealots trying to engage. Zealots unable to do anything all too much. They're trying to get us around. That one Zealot was chasing far too far. And I believe that may actually have been the problem. A bad concave now. He is currently surrounded. Stalker is able to blink around once again. What's going to happen? Sase, is he going to be able to get away? No. What is this? Both sides still fighting. And this is perhaps the longest Stalker war I've seen in quite some time. Stalker is still battling it out. It looks like the superior numbers of Sase will be able to come out ahead. Is the Phoenix going to fall? One low hit point Stalker running off to the north. And Sase, I believe, has finally broken through the reinforcements simply just too much and there is the gg as sase takes the game thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed this show match with gamania sase versus yo m hui